I'm Ariel Gold. I'm an artist in San Francisco. The first show that I had in the city was actually at a salon, and I walked in and it was white, and I couldn't sit there like that long just staring at these white walls. And so I just asked, the, it was my first time to the place, and I asked the stylist, if, you know, do you ever consider putting art on the walls? She said they had actually just taken down a show and they were looking for someone new. And so I said, oh, well, I always carry cards, which I think is really important to have your information just readily available. And so I handed her a card. I said, no obligation, but I'm happy to kind of work with you guys and what you're, what you're looking for. We started talking about what they would want, and I had a year, basically a year-long show with them with different work, and that was kind of where it started, at least here in the city, and I think just making that connection, don't be scared to say hi and say, I am an artist, and this is what I do, and you know, it doesn't always work out, but many times it does, so why not try? As a Vita artist, I think what has made me most successful is really putting out a lot of my work and different types so it kind of it, there's a nice range. I think that showcasing it on yourself, it's wearable art. So being able to wear the scarf, wear the top, giving it as gifts, charity, all of those type of things are really great ways to, to showcase the work. I think the, the biggest piece of advice and the thing that I always try to stay true to is paint for yourself. Do what you love to do because when you start just focusing on what consumers might want, you take in your kind of a little bit of your heart out of it. But if you just continue painting and continue playing, have fun with it. You know, not everything has to always look the same as a piece that just sold. Like, really, really play around and enjoy the experience and live in the moment.